Good morning. My name is Xin Hui Zhang, and I am a senior director in Alibaba and the head of supply chain and operation research technical committee in Alibaba. Before we get started, we want to thank the committee for selecting Alibaba Group. We in Alibaba view it as a great honor to be in the finalist group. The presentation will be composed of explanations of the problems, our solution approaches, and video from our executives on the journey to solve these problems and our commitment to operation research. Alibaba is a young yet vibrant company founded by Jack Ma a little more than 20 years ago. We would like to begin our presentation with a video introduction of Alibaba Group. Please see the video. Alibaba was born in Jack's apartment 20 years ago. Since then, we have transformed from an e-commerce company into a digital economy that is one of a kind in the world. Our digital economy has expanded to include cloud computing, financial services, logistics, local services, digital media, and entertainment. Our core competency is finding the right chemistry between technology and business, which has culminated in the creation of the Alibaba Business Operating System. Our founding mission was to make it easy to do business anywhere. Looking ahead, we will continue to build a better future through innovation and creativity. We are a big company, but that's not enough. It is more important that we are a good company. We have a target for 2036, which is to serve 2 billion consumers globally, support 10 million profitable businesses on our platforms, and create 100 million jobs. Our long-term goal is to be a company that spans at least 102 years. That milestone would mean Alibaba has successfully spent three centuries, an achievement very few can match. Alibaba's destiny is to be a future shaper and a pioneer. We choose to create our own path and a new path for others to follow. We believe in the future and we will lead the way. Innovation runs through the vein of Alibaba. To better serve its customers, in recent years, Alibaba has pioneered many new retail models. These models provide an omnichannel online and offline shopping experience, enable customers to order almost anything through their wireless devices, and have them delivered through its logistics services to their homes. Here are some timeline and example of these models. In 2013, Cainyang Networks, the logistic arm of Alibaba Group, was founded with a collaborative approach to logistics that aims to deliver to anywhere in China in 24 hours. In 2015, Alibaba incubated Fresh Hippo, a supermarket retail chain that integrates warehouses and front-end stores for grocery and fresh producers that offer as fast as 30 minutes delivery for people living within the radius of three kilometers. On October 12, 2018, Alibaba Group merged the online food delivery service platform, Alama, and its local commerce platform, Kobe into Alibaba's new local life services that provide instant pickup and delivery services of restaurants orders, groceries, and drug store orders, as well as even running errands for customers. The success of these businesses depends on the creative and the deliberate design of the business models, as well as efficient 
and effective supply chain and logistic operations. These operations require many scientific decisions to be made, such as forecasting, inventory, assortment planning, staff scheduling, and vehicle routing. This is where operation research plays a key role in those businesses. In this particular case, we are looking at vehicle routing decisions that arise from order picking at the warehouses, as well as delivery route optimization of motor drivers. The fast development of these business models has generated many vehicle routing problems. To support business development, it has to mention that we are not solving one specific vehicle routing, but rather a large variety of vehicle routing problems. These vehicle routing problems include multi-trip vehicle routing problems, pickup and delivery VRPs, split deliver VRPs, VRP with geographic compactness requirement, VRP with synchronization constraint, VRP with uncertain travel and service times, VRP with pop-up customers, as well as many definitions of good routes that generate from practical business users. Though we have seen and solved many of the traditional vehicle routing problems in planning phases as seen in the literature, for example, the routing of vehicle to deliver tomorrow's orders. In these cases, the orders are known at the time when the decisions are made, and we can enjoy hours to solve the routing problems. However, many of our, our current problems are stochastic online optimization problems. These problems are online problems as decisions have to be made quickly as soon as the orders arrive, so as to leave sufficient time for subsequent order picking and delivery operations. These algorithms have to be called every few minutes or seconds or millions of times a day. For example, some of the vehicle routing problems at Fresh Hippo and Cainyang could be solved as many as 300 times or a thousand times per minute or on the order of millions of times per day. These VRP problems could be hard to model and solve and have to face many stochastic components such as uncertain service times in urban high-rise apartments, uncertain travel times in metropolitan routes, pop-up orders, and have to take into consideration many complex warehouse operation requirements. To understand the complexity of some of the problems, here we give a specific example of the order batching problem at Fresh Hippo warehouses. The order batching problem is to select out of the orders in the next two to three minutes, the top left part of the picture, what orders to select and assign into batches. The bottom left of the picture, the red, blue, and orange batches to be picked as different tasks at different zones, so as to minimize the total warehouse picking routes as well as final delivery routes. The problem is complicated because all the picking tasks have to be routed through the suspension belt and synchronized as a packing area to avoid congestions and the order in the batches are typically delivered in the box and the formation of the batches has to consider the distance of customers. As such, due to the space limitation in modern metropolitan warehouses, the autumn batcher problem is a dynamic vehicle routing problem that has to consider both the warehouse picking distance, the final delivery distance, as well as synchronization of arrivals at picking areas. The problem is complex and has to be solved in seconds. Now, let's turn to our solution approaches and illustrate the timeline of our algorithm development over the years. 
Our first effort to solve the vehicle routing problem started in October 2016 when Cai was solving the challenge to deliver package to rural areas in China. An adaptive large neighborhood search framework was selected at the beginning, and then the deep reinforcement learning methods was developed in early 2018. Various enhancements have been developed, and a modeling scheme similar to games have been added. In the middle of 2018, the algorithm was named Grid Solver, and in later 2018, the solver was adopted to all subsidiaries of Alibaba. In later 2020, a policy-based deep reinforcement learning has been successfully applied to solving practical vehicle routing problems. By November of 2020, the algorithm holds 34 best-known solutions of vehicle routing problems with time windows and 23 batch best-known solutions of peak carbon delivered vehicle routing problems managed by SINTEF Transition Port Optimization Portal. We will start with a description of the ALNS algorithm, Adaptive Large Neighborhood Search. It is a general hyper-heuristic or meta-heuristic that iteratively updates solutions through a set of ruin and repair operations. In the case of vehicle routing problem, for example, given a solution, a ruin operation could simply drop or remove some of the customers or orders from the solution, and the repair operation would utilize some heuristic to add these customers or orders back to form a different and hopefully better solution. The update of solution to replace the current solution can be designed by various threshold of probability accepting approaches. Every operations researcher has his own or her own preferred heuristic. The reason we choose adaptive large neighborhood search is that unlike any other heuristics, that usually are designed case by case, require much manual tuning, and may not be acceptable in the rapid evolving business environment. On the other hand, AELNS is extremely easy to code. It has an open and flexible architecture to model various scenarios. As we mentioned above, there are many variants of VRPs in different subsidiaries of Alibaba. To facilitate agile development and ease and transportability, the ALNS-based grid solver is designed as an open architecture. On the top of the ALNS algorithms, we developed a modeling schema, a VRP modeling language similar to games and Ample. The language allows users to build and solve a VRP problem quickly through just definition of four components. The problem attributes, variables, user-defined constraints, and objectives. We also provide a standard JSON type input and output. Second, in addition to predefined ruin insert operators, our ALNS framework also provides an open API which allows customization of rate operators and evaluation functions to solve various types of complex problems and the specific business requirement. Over the years, we have solved many vehicle routing problems and developed many operators with no cross route, cluster constraint, synchronization constraint, uncertain parameters and etc. To escape from local optimality, a memetic algorithm is applied and a switching mechanism is used to balance exploration and exploitation. Finally, we use GPU to execute operators in parallel if possible to use modern computation power while control the algorithm flow on the CPU which could significantly speed up the time execution time of the algorithm. Next, we'll show 
how to build and solve a vehicle routing problem through the modeling schema. The top right picture shows an example how to define a CBRP. We start with definition of two types of decision variables. While the demand defines the aggregate load on every vehicle, distance indicates the aggregated distance. We add variable capacity constraint and finally specify the objective to minimize the distance. Notice here advanced users could define problem specific operators for their own applications as if it is a callable library and even modify the local search operators. Now let's use two specific examples to illustrate application of ALNS framework. In many routing problems, it's often preferable to implement solutions where routes are geographically compact and don't overlap. These solutions are visually appealing to human operators and can quickly earn their trust. Geographic compactness could be modeled easily through the NLNS framework by redefining the objective function and incorporate problem-specific operators. In our implementation, a no cross run operator is performed to eliminate crossing between routes and an objective to qualify the length and of Hamiltonian circuit to measure the solution attractiveness. The figure below shows a solution of traditional VRP and a VRP with geographic compactness. As can be seen, the solution with geographic compactness are visually appealing and fits a specific air design for a single area. It took us only two weeks to implement and achieve these results under an ALNS framework. Stochastic service and travel times are in, an inherent part of many of our vehicle routing problems. And we have developed stochastic vehicle routing algorithms consider these uncertainties. There are two possible approaches. One is to define an objective that includes expected total tardiness by sampling the average, and the other is to add chance constraint which samples evaluation modules and incorporate them into the RIN op and operation insert operators. Incorporating uncertainty can significantly improve the performance of routing plans. The solution of the deterministic VRP with mean travel times and that of stochastic VRP with chance constraint were implemented on different yet similar sets of days in practice. Our computation results showed the running over time could be significantly reduced from 15% under a deterministic solution to 6.7% under a stochastic solution. And the total cost can be reduced as much as 10% due to the re reduction of overtime. It has to mention, rather than take months to implement these algorithms, it took only us two weeks to start from the scratch under the ALNS framework. The other aspects of the approach to solve the online problem is the development of deep reinforcement learning. Here, I would like to introduce, introduce my fellow colleagues, Hao Yuan Hu, who would introduce the details of the algorithms. Thanks, Xinhui. Hello, I am Hao Yuan. China is head of AI, and I am happy to share more details on how exactly we develop and optimize the DL algorithm. Although the ARNS framework is very flexible architecture that allows us to solve different variants of VRPs, the solutions may be far away from optimal ones due to the limited computational time in our practice especially for large size problems, such as the problems in China, Freshper, and Ulmer. Due to the stringent service commitment, the allowance for solving these problems 
a few seconds or even milliseconds. Usually, better solutions means less cost. So we didn't stop here. While improving the ALS algorithms, we also try to develop some other algorithms that could be more effective than the LNS heuristic and more efficient than the exact method. We turn to the Deep Reinforcement Learning, or DRL, because it has been shown to be able to solve combinatorial problems in 2016, and the DRL model could be trained offline and use online to predict the solution instantly. With that aim, we started with improving the LAS operators use DIO, hoping to see that the operators can be chosen smartly and the algorithm can converge faster. But we failed. Then we tried to develop an end-to-end -end framework, which trains the DIO model with node coordination as input and the node sequence as output. At first, we use the Q-learning architecture that learns the Q-values of the action to select the next node of the sequence. But this method was not as competitive in ALS. Then after two years try and error, we turn to the policy-based architecture that learns the policy to select the next node and develop a model based on the graph convolutional networks. Finally, we got some exciting results. The DR-based algorithm outperforms the ALS in some problems and applied in our practice. Specifically, the DR-based algorithm is developed based on the graph convolutional network, where node feature and edge feature as inputs, as shown in the figure. Different decoders are proposed to decode the representation of these two groups of features. The output of one decoder is supervision of the other decoder, a hybrid learning strategy that combines the reinforcement learning manner with supervised learning manner is applied trained model. Our numerical experiments on real-world datasets show that such an approach can accelerate training convergency as improve the solution quality. Here are some computational results from this table. It is obvious to see that the DR-based algorithm delivers a better solution with less time than the ARS-based algorithm. For example, for solving CVRP with 100 nodes, ARS used two and a half seconds on average, while DR use 0.1 millisecond, that's 10,000 faster. And not only that, their solution's cost is lower than ARS, 4.32% of cost of the latter is reduced on average. Moreover, as the problem scale grows, the improvement of DRL over ALS grows, which means that the DRL is significantly better than ALS when solving large problems. This is very appealing in practice. Similarly, for solving real PDPTW in element, DRL is much faster than ALS, and the solution cost of DRL lower than ARS. Now DIO was deployed in production to solve all batching problems in China, and we plan to upgrade the algorithm from ARS to DIO in full delivery service. Thanks, Hao Yuan. The vehicle routing problems has been adapted in various subsidiaries within Alibaba, and many are called thousands or even millions of times per day depends on the substories. Financial savings are typically within the range of 3 to 5% reduction of the total transportation cost, and the total financial savings are more than 50 million US dollars 
annually. There are several other intangible benefits. Our software significantly free up operation research developers' time, speed up the business development, and have become the key to the success of several business subsidiaries. The success of the algorithm is critical to the reputation of operation research and has gained the confidence of the executives towards operation research. It has become one of, one of our key technology focuses in the future and motivate more researchers that ranges from forecasting, inventory, warehouse operations, and operation research is becoming an integral part of the solution. In early 2020, Alibaba formed the Supply Chain and Operation Research Technical Committee to direct the development of operation research within Alibaba. And we have decided that the VRP algorithms to be open sourced internally within Alibaba in August 2020. This has enabled algorithm developers to solve various VRP variants quickly in different Alibaba subsidiaries. At the same time, algorithm developers can develop more operators, more constraints, more objectives from these different scenarios, and these enhancements can be feedback to enrich the open core algorithm repository. We are very proud of our open source community efforts. It encourages sharing between different business subsidiary to avoid time consuming and error prone re-implementation of algorithms and has since fostered several practical and exciting extensions as we have mentioned some of those early. As a last note, we would like to emphasize the role operation research plays in the overall business. I believe there's something special here at Alibaba. Algorithm developers, either machine learning or operation researchers, are tasked to write the code and develop systematic solutions to improve the daily business operations. We are not simple consultants to solve our solutions, but we are the integral part of business in enhancing warehouse efficiency, on-time delivery, forecasting accuracy. It actually feels great that we do have an impact. Finally, it's our honor that our CEO of Cainyao Networks, Dr. Lin Wan, Vice President and CTO of Fresh Hippo, Mrs. Xi Ruo Wang, Alibaba CTO, Mr. Li Cheng, and particularly Alibaba CEO Daniel Zhang has greatly accepted our invitation to give their view of the operation research in Alibaba. Here, I would like to take use this opportunity to use some of the quotes from our executives to conclude my presentation. From Xi Ruo Wang, Vice President of Digital Supply Chain and CTO of Fresh Hippo. Our supply chain and operation researchers continuously develop algorithms that expands operation research to me. These algorithms are embedded in our supply chain systems that monitors the order status, sense the environment, as well as dynamically adjust the routing algorithms that have greatly reduced the operation cost and delivered superior customer shopping experience. From Mr. Li Cheng, the CTO of Alibaba Group, we envision operation research will continue to bring significant benefits to Alibaba business we also hope Alibaba would in turn return do our share to foster the development of operation research. From Mr. Daniel Zhang, CEO of Alibaba Group, routing algorithms, which is at the heart of our supply chain and logistics science, have helped to greatly improve efficiency in operational cost and delivery time. 
and it offers increment, incremental benefits to every stakeholders along the value chain. Supply chain and operation research is very important to our e-commerce business. With that, let, let's now watch the video. Thank you, Informs and Friends Admin Committee for recognizing our work. Alibaba Group's mission is to make it easy to do business anywhere. And we are focused on helping business capture new opportunities through digital transformation in the new economy. We specialize in innovations that marry commerce with technology and have been the pioneer in many new retail models. These new retail models have enabled our business partners to connect and engage with customers through omni-channel by digitalizing not only the entire shopping journey, but also back-end retail operations. Routine algorithms, which is at the heart of our supply chain and logistics science, have helped to greatly improve efficiency in operational cost and the delivery time. It has also helped to elevate the customer user experience. It offers incremental benefits to every stakeholder along the value chain. From the delivery personnel who can work more smartly, to the business who can manage their inventory better, to the end customer who can receive their orders in their expected time frame. China has the world's largest and the most complicated logistic market, dealing with enormous number of vehicles, parcels, and a population of huge regional differences. As a globalized and digitized logistics company, Sanyao is committed to offering optimal services in various scenarios through digitization of logistics elements. We have been developing a smart routing algorithm since Sanyao launched the parcel delivery services in remote villages across China back in 2016, with the aim of enhancing the delivery efficiency while reducing cost. As the business evolves over the years, the algorithm has been incorporated with machine learning and operations research and applied in diverse and complex scenarios such as warehouse sorting, routing, velocity delivery, instant point-to-point -point delivery, etc. Taking into account various factors such as differentiated order status, stochastic demand, constrained warehouse space and traffic congestions, China is able to make prompt decisions, leaving sufficient time for offline operations and offer efficient and reliable service for consumers. Our fresh people provide a normal retail experience for grocery, fresh produce, and the seafood, where customers can either shop at the store or within 3 kilometers, can place orders and have them delivered to their home in 30 minutes. This high-quality service is possible due to two factors. The first is the digitalization of products, payments, logistic system, so that it digitalizes the traditional brick and mortar retail stores and expanded traditional e-commerce service. The second is the innovation in supply chain and logistic capabilities, such as the store and warehouse design and layout, order fulfillment, last mile delivery, so as to effectively fulfill customers' overly level delivery commitment. These are just one of many examples of innovation in new retail. The new retail models nevertheless have made the business operations more complex and many scientific decisions have to be made, such as forecast of demand, inventory placement, warehouse and delivery operations. This is where operation research plays the key role. We emphasize this operation research model be drawn from the business problems and create business value. Our supply chain and operation research developers represented by the team from Fresh People and the Digital Supply Chain have discovered many interesting problems in various scenarios 
and continuously develop algorithms such as stochastic vehicle routing, integrated warehouse and delivery routing models that expand operation research domain. These algorithms are embedded in our supply chain platform that monitors the order status, sends the environment index such as temperature, personnel, order, and dynamically adjust routing algorithm, and have greatly reduced operation cost, deliver superior customer shopping experience. Supply chain is an important part of new retail and e-commerce business. And based on operation research, we have built a series of advanced forecast models with high accuracy simulation-based inventory optimization algorithm. For example, it is our design to provide a standard at plug-and-play modular algorithm to scale up the application to support quick application development and to build a digitalized supply chain network to serve more business and customers. Vehicle routing problem is one of the classic problems in the operations research community, it dated back perhaps in the 1950s. At the very beginning, we were solving many similar problems, yet as a pioneer of the new retail format, we found that there are many variants of some inherent problems. These problems are complex, are stochastic in nature. For example, the high variable travel times due to congestion in metropolitan traffic, as well as time to reach high-rise apartments. And it requires very short time in computation, so as not to leave room for subsequent order picking and delivery operations. To tackle many traditional routing problems, we might have the luxury of several hours to optimize the routes for next day's delivery orders. But for us, many routing problems have to be solved in minutes or seconds if necessary. To solve many such real-time vehicle routing problems, first, we have developed an adaptive large neighborhood search as a baseline, embedded many move operators, set up a dynamic selection mechanism which can support a quick modeling of variants of routing problems as well as their effective solutions. Second, we combined machine learning with operations research and developed a learning-based algorithm which uses offline training and can make nearly instant online predictions of solutions. These models could get good results when they are applied to much larger problems in milliseconds. Utilization of offline training and GPU computation and the techniques well used in machine learning offer another interesting tool for operations research and society. Lastly, we developed an open source community internally within Alibaba to encourage model development and algorithm sharing between different business subsidiaries to avoid time consuming and error prone re implementation of algorithms and has since fostered several practical and exciting extensions. This open source effort, I believe, would benefit the operations research community in the future as well. We envision operations research will continue to bring significant benefits to Alibaba businesses. And we also hope that Alibaba could in return do our share to foster the development of operations research. Supply chain and operations research is very important for our e-commerce business. And Alibaba will continue to pursue innovations that will help the digital transformation of the enterprises across sectors. I'm proud of our team for their game-changing contributions to the retail industry. Once again, thank you for selecting Alibaba as a finalist. It's a truly an honor for us.